Now we are going to talk about the left ventricle. The left ventricle consists of the rough inflowing part and the smooth outflowing part. Here is the subaortic curtain which divides the mitral valve from the aortic valve. Unlike the right ventricle, the left ventricle contains two papillary muscles instead of three papillary muscles. When the left ventricle contracts, the papillary muscles contract along with it, pulling on the cordy tendine, which is connected to the mitral valve. This allows oxygenated blood to pass from the left atrium to the left ventricle. The left ventricle, along with the interventricular septum, makes up the main muscular pump of the heart. When the left ventricle contracts, oxygenated blood is pumped from the left ventricle up to the aortic vestibule through the aortic valve into the ascending aorta, the arch of aorta, and the descending aorta. Here we can see the superior vena cava dividing into two branches, namely the right brachiocephalic vein and the left brachiocephalic vein. The ascending aorta gives off two branches containing the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery. The ascending aorta continues as the arch of aorta. The arch of aorta gives off three branches, namely the brachiocephalic trunk, the left common carotid artery, and the left subclavian artery. The inferior vena cava, superior vena cava, ascending aorta, arch of aorta, and descending aorta makes up important components in the systemic circulation. Here is the interventricular septum. It is divided into two parts. The muscular part is on the lower side and the membranous part is on the upper side. The membranous part is thin because it contains only fibrous tissue covered by two layers of endocardium. Congenital malformations such as a ventricular septal defect normally occurs on the muscular part of the interventricular septum.